Say hello, everyone. Say hello. It's your camera shot, girl. Your camera shot. Hi, everyone. And thank you for joining me in another video. Today's video. She's looking at me like, who are you talking to? Today's video is a little bit of a mummy makeover. Basically, well, I'll say mummy, mummy makeover, but not really. Basically, I've just been lately feeling really, really not like myself. I just feel super gross. My skin is like not on its best behavior. Are you standing by yourself? My skin is not on its best behavior. I've just been breaking out. Can you see that? It's just like, it's awful. And that's not like my skin at all good girl um i've just been feeling very very gross and i need to change that so to make myself feel better this morning nine i woke up at six <laughs> didn't you <laughs> you did you wake up at 6 a.m in the morning which is very early for Nyla. i know some babies do wake up early but um yeah for Nyla, that's quite early she woke up at six and she was trying to get herself back to sleep for quite some time, but she couldn't do it. So um, I went in and got her back to sleep because I could tell she was still tired. Like it wasn't morning time. It was like, I'm still tired, but I've woken up. What do I do? Help. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, I thought after that, I was like, um, there's no point in me going back to bed. Like I might as well just get up and start the day. So I did my work, my daily workout in the morning which was nice i'll insert a picture of me sweating afterwards so you all can see um so yeah that was nice just some like me time half an hour just to do something good for me and my body so that was how we started off this mummy makeover we're screaming it we're screaming it say hello everyone say hello you camera shy girl you camera shy you're not shy <gasps> yeah. hello oh. hi oh. um anyways what was I saying? so yeah it was just nice to get up and do something for me so that was how we started off the day i was meant to get my eyebrows done i know they're terrible let's not talk about it okay we can all see that they are oh scary okay so yeah i was meant to get my eyebrows done but the place that i was going to go and get them done they've upped the price and for me it was just not quite worth justifying um the price for the eye for my eyebrows so i'm gonna go and get them waxed because i was gonna get them threaded which i actually hate why is this why is this one so much longer than this one why is it's literally so much longer i'm gonna go and get my eyebrows waxed um instead of threaded which would be a first for me but it's fine um i'm also going to get my hair done when my hair is done i feel so much better so much fresher i feel like somehow my skin looks better i just look more put together for me i have got 4c afro-caribbean hair it's very very hard for me to maintain ever since i was young i've had relaxed hair um, and so now I've not relaxed, which is just basically like straight straightening your hair, but with chemicals, so it's permanently straight. Um, now it's not been relaxed because I've tried to grow it out naturally. I've just been really struggling. I've been really struggling to maintain it and keep it into like good styles. Like this is not. It's just not. It's just better than it being out in an afro. So, yeah. Um, in my opinion, some people love afros. It's just not for me. It doesn't really suit my my face. I just don't really like it. So I'm gonna get my hair done and braided by my sister this evening. So I'll show you that. And I think once that's done, I'm already gonna look ten times better and feel ten times better. Um, but yeah. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on my mummy makeover with me. Are you gonna mummy makeover with me? yes you are so i hope you enjoy this video thank you so much thank you so much for watching and yeah we'll see you in the next part stay tuned because hair is pending this is the before wait for the after <laughs>
this is the finished product. Looks really good. I'm really happy with it. Obviously, Taylor did a fantastic job because she's a tailor. Um, yeah, this is a dark, like a dark brown, which isn't actually the colour of my hair, but I just thought I'd do something slightly different. I mean, it doesn't look that dramatic, so. But yeah, really happy with it. Let me show you in there. It's really super long. I've got curly ends literally down past my hips. So Niall is going to have a lot of fun playing with this. But um, yeah, it looks really good. I love these little curly bits at the front. It's going to be really fun to style. Um, so yeah, the first part of our mummy makeover is complete. Um, and I'm already feeling 100 times better because my hair is done and I look somewhat more presentable because before it was scary so yeah I'll let you know what the next part of it. I think I'm going to get my eyebrows done or do my eyebrows because they are this mirror is so gross really bad so maybe we'll do my eyebrows and then yeah who knows maybe my eyelashes I've never had my eyelashes done that might be quite nice because my eyelashes are very very short But yeah, we'll see. Can you really tell that my mood is lifted? <laughs> but yeah, so what do you guys think? Hi everyone, so it's now night time. As we are doing our mummy makeover, um, I just wanted to include this in the vlog. I'm just going to include this in the vlog, this little nighttime thing I'm going to do on my skin. I've never done it before. Some of these products I have are new, um, but I'm just going to see if this helps with some of my redness, my spots, marks, and, and dehydrated skin. Um, hopefully I'll wake up feeling a little bit more refreshed and hydrated, and then maybe we'll even have some reduced redness and um, maybe my spots will have gone down. I don't know. So let me show you what I'm going to be using. So it's nothing too extreme or expensive. I went to Superdrug today and I got this. These were cheaper than the, um, from the baby section. These were cheaper than the ones that you get, like, normally. I think they were, like, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pence cheaper. So, you know, just FYI. I got this Superdrug version of, um, um, bio oil because it was a lot cheaper I think it was like six or seven pounds cheaper so I thought I would give it a go I did read the ingredients for both and they are quite different to be honest so I don't know I've never used this before but I thought we'll give it a go because bio oil was way too expensive um, and then my face cream has run out I normally get I want to say Seva, CeraVe or Se no, I can't remember what it's called and it's I've thrown it away so I can't even get it but um yeah it's normally quite expensive so um i got this one i'm just gonna try it out because it's got tea tree in it this is just super drug own brand face moisture facial moisturizer um so i'm gonna give this a go i don't know i just needed something cheap but that was also gonna hydrate my face and moisturize my skin so i'm gonna see how this goes and fyi i'm using this moisturizer and then this on my face as like a face oil <laughs> um so hopefully this combination will be quite good to help um, reduce my um, the appearance of my spots and like red marks and marks and then to cleanse my face I'm using this clean and clear deep cleansing lotion I've been using this for years um, and I always see if my skin is dirty this is taking off so I'm going to use this first and then a combination of these two and um, we'll see how my skin looks after <laughs>
Okay, so I have finished moisturizing and cleaning my skin. You saw what came off. That is disgusting. That is the day. <laughs> that is the day. Um, but yeah, you can see it's quite red because I've been like rubbing in cream and oil. But it's quite moisturized. We'll see how we feel in the morning. I will say, I don't think this is moisturizing enough for my skin. So I'm very glad that I'm putting the oil on. But the oil is quite watery in my opinion. Like it even looks it like it's kind of watery. It doesn't have like an oily, the oily texture that I was looking for. I mean, it's okay. You can kind of see the shine on my fingers. It's okay. But I was looking for more of a oily texture, I feel like. I'm not even oily, but it's just quite watery. So we'll see how this, how we get on with this. It may be best to spend the extra money to get bio oil, but we'll see. You can see I've got a mark right here. So we'll see if this fades over time. Um, and if it does, it'll be down to this. So that'll be a great way to um, identify whether or not this is helping to tone my skin. Anyways, so I've done my little nighttime, um, I wouldn't say nighttime routine because this is the first time I've ever done it, but my little nighttime facial moisturization session. <laughs> um, we'll see how it looks in the morning. As of right now, just a bit red and scary. Stay tuned for the next part of this mummy makeover, glow up, self care, video. Hi everyone, sorry I have to whisper because Lion is going down to sleep. Um, but I've just done my third Grow with Joe workout. I think you can see some of the sweat. This one I didn't sweat as much. But I've still got really really sweaty which is fantastic. So I'm just going to have a shower now and then I'm going to go and get my eyebrows done. The wax place that I normally go to didn't have any availability so I'm just gonna go and get them threaded um so obviously this is the before and I will show you the after also an update on my skin after the routine I did last night um it does feel a lot smoother I've noticed that the whiteheads that I had the spots that I had here that had whiteheads they have gone down um some of the spots that I have here are less inflamed and the same on this side you guys think i feel like they could be a bit better but i wanted them to stay this thick even though they're not very thick but anyways they're done i hope you can tell the difference <laughs> hi everyone so thank you for watching my mummy makeover i just wanted to quickly show you my eyebrows now like not in the sun because i feel like in the sun it looked terrible but yeah they do look okay i still think they could be better but um they look so much better than I did before as you can see so yeah I'm pretty happy with them I will say though for the amount I paid I personally feel like <laughs> seven pounds is a lot for threading especially when they're not like perfect the threading used to be five pounds which I can justify it's literally just a piece of thread like there's no expense involved like where whereas waxing there's strips there's the wax like I get it but threading it's a piece of thread you could literally pick that up off of the ground <laughs> for free so I don't feel like seven pounds is like worth I don't think it's seven pounds worth it but anyways obviously you pay for people's time and stuff so I get it it's fine I paid it <laughs> um, but yeah so anyways I just want to say thank you for joining me in this mummy makeover this was a very like lightweight um not too expensive mummy makeover just to make 
me feel better. I don't necessarily feel like I even look that much better. But I feel like I just feel much better. My hair's just back and I'm in, it's Sunday, so I'm just in my Sunday lazy clothes. Nyla's having a nap and I'm going to edit this video. So yeah, thank you for joining me. I'm going to still give you an update on my skin and stuff. I feel like it is, it's not like good, it is getting better. So yeah, <laughs> anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Say thank you for watching. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>